Inclusion of Fundamental Rights in Part 3 of the Constitution Part 3 of the Constitution guarantees six categories of fundamental rights. These are Right to Equality, Articles 14 to 18 Right to Freedom, Articles 19 to 22 Right Against Exploitation, Articles 23 and 24 Right to Freedom of Religion, Article 25 to 28 Cultural and Educational Rights, Article 29 and 30 Right to Constitutional Remedies, Article 32 Earlier, the right to property under Article 31 was also guaranteed as a fundamental right which has been removed by the 44th Constitutional Amendment Act, 1978. Now, right to property is not a fundamental right. It is now only a legal right. Apart from this, Articles 12 and 13 deal with the definition of state and law respectively. Articles 35 to 33 to 35 deal with the general provisions relating to the fundamental rights. No fundamental right in India is absolute and reasonable restrictions can be imposed in the interest of the state by valid legislation and in such case, the court normally would respect the legislative policy behind the same. From the point of view of the persons to whom the, right are av- the rights are available, the fundamental rights may be classified as Articles 15, 16, 19 and 30 are guaranteed only to the citizens. Articles 14, 20, 21, 22, 23, 25, 27 and 28 are available to any person on the soil of India, citizen or foreigner. The rights guaranteed by Articles 15, 17, 18, 20, 24 are absolute limitations upon the legislative power. For convenience as well as for the better understanding, it is proper to take each of these separately, but some related terms are necessary to be understood first. Definition of State With a few exceptions, all the fundamental rights are available against the state. Under Article 12, unless the context otherwise requires, the state includes the government and parliament of India, the government and the legislature of each of the states, and all local or other authorities within the territory of India or under the control of the government of India. The expression local authorities refers to the authorities like municipalities, district boards, panchayats, improvement trust, port trust, and mining settlement boards. The Supreme Court has held that other authorities will include all authorities created by the constitution or statute on whom powers are conferred by the law and it is not necessary that the authority should engage in performing government functions. Electricity Board, Rajasthan versus Mohanlal. The Calcutta High Court has held that the electricity authorities being state within the meaning of Article 12, their action can be judicially reviewed by the court under Article 226 of the Constitution of India. The Gujarat High Court has held that the President is state when making an order under Article 359 of the Constitution. The words under the control of Government of India bring into the definition of act not only every authority within the territory of India but also those functioning outside provided such authorities are under the control of government of India. In BD Supply Company versus Union of India, state was interpreted to include its income tax department. The Supreme Court in Sukhdev Singh versus Bhagat Ram has pointed out that the corporations acting as instrumentally or agency of the government would become state because obviously they are subjected to the same limitations in the field of constitutional or administrative law as the government itself. Though in the eye of the law they would be distinct and independent legal entities. In Satish Nayak v. Cochin Stock Exchange, the Kerala High Court held that since the stock exchange was independent of government control and was not discharging any public duty, it cannot be treated as other authority under Article 12. 
test for instrumentality or agency of the state in ajay hasia versus khalid mujib the supreme court has enunciated the following test for determining whether an entity is an instrumentally or agency of the state if the entire share capital of the corporation is held by the government it would go a long way towards indicating that the corporation is an instrumentally or agency of the government where the financial assistant of the state is so much as to meet almost the entire expenditure of the corporation it would afford some indications of the corporation being impregnated with government character whether the corporation enjoys a monopoly status which is conferred or protected by the state existence of deep and pervasive state control may afford an indication that the corporation is a state agency or an instrumentality if the functions of the corporation are of a public importance and closely related to government functions it would be a relevant factor in classifying a corporation as an instrumentality or agency of government if a department of government is transferred to a corporation it would be a strong factor supporting an inference of the corporation being an instrumentality or agency of the government an important decision on the definition of state in article 12 is pradeep kumar biswas versus indian institute of chemical biology 2002 A seven judge bench of a supreme court by a majority of 5 is to 2 held that CSIR is an instrumentality of the state falling within the scope of article 12 the multiple test which is to be applied to ascertain the character of a body as falling within article 12 or outside is to ascertain the nature of the financial functional and administrative control of the state over it and whether it is dominated by the state government and the control can be said to be so deep and pervasive so as to satisfy the court of brooding presence of the government on the activities of the body concerned in z telefilms limited versus union of india 2005 the supreme court applying the tests laid down in pradeep kumar biswas case held that board of cricket control of india was not state for purposes of article 12 because it was not shown to be financially functionally or administratively dominated by or under the control of the government and the control exercised by the government was not pervasive but merely regulatory in nature judiciary although an organ of state like the executive and the legislature is not specifically mentioned in the article 12 however the position is that where the court performs judicial functions example determination of scope of fundamental rights vis vis legislation of executive action it will not occasion the infringement of fundamental rights and therefore it will not come under state in such situation while in exercise of non judicial functions example in exercise of rule making powers where a court makes rules which contravene the fundamental rights of citizens the same could be challenged treating the court as state